In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the five number summary, meaning min, max, the median, and the quartiles of a data set using Excel. And then I'll also show you how to create a box plot. I'm not going to go into the analysis of any of these pieces, just showing you how to compute them. So I have a sample data set of some heights. Um, this data is completely random, so don't read anything into our answers here. Uh, the five number summary, as hopefully you're already familiar with, um, is the min or the minimum lowest value. That would be with the min function equals min in Excel, and then highlight your list of data values. In this case, my min comes out to 58 inches. And similarly, the max value is with the max function, so equals max, and then highlight your values after the parentheses. The quartiles, um, you can use a quartiles function. Um, the middle quartile, the quartile 2, is of course the same as the median. So you could compute this with the median function, which is equals median, and then parentheses. Or you can actually compute all of these with the quartiles function. So I'm going to use this for quartile 1. The function looks like equals quartile Q-U-A-R-T-I-L-E. Um, there are two different versions of quartiles. We're going to be using the inclusive version just based on the standards from our textbook. They give you slightly different answers, um, but they are both accepted. So this is quartile.inc, I-N-C, and it's going to ask for an array first, which is just the list of data. So I've highlighted my list of data, and then a comma, and then we tell it which quartile we want. And if you put in your comma, you'll see suggestions from Excel. Zero, the zeroth quartile is actually the same as the minimum, so I could have used that instead of using the min function. In this case, I want one for the first quartile. So I'll put in a one, close my parentheses, and press enter. So my quartile three, I would do the same thing equals quartile.inc, and then for my array, I highlight my data. And then for quartile 3, I'll enter a 3 here, close my parentheses, and press Enter. So you can use that quartiles function for all five values, or you can use a combination with the min, max, and median functions. Now all of these values put together would give us the values for our box plot or our box and whisker plot, um, but Excel can actually create these uh, on its own. So if I highlight my list of data, so I've highlighted all the heights, I'm going to go to the insert tab, and then right in the center of the charts, there's one that looks like a bar graph, and it gives us some options for histograms and then the box and whisker. Just as a side note, I don't use these histogram options because it's more difficult to set the classes. Um, in my video on histograms, I showed how to use the histogram tool in the data analysis tool pack. Um, so just a side note since we're seeing them here. So the box and whisker plot is what I'm going to pick. And you'll see that from this data, my box and whisker, um, this is a vertical box and whisker plot. Uh, it's not terribly interesting because the whiskers are very small, probably because these data values were randomly distributed. You would want to give this graph some labels. Um, right now, the, our horizontal axis is just giving us the title 1, um, since we only have one data set. You can use this tool to create multiple box and whisker plots. And one thing to be aware of when using the Excel um, box and whisker tool is that it does give modified box plots. So if I go in here and change one of these values to something much higher than all the rest, maybe 100 inches, you'll notice that instead of extending the whisker all the way up to that max value of 100, um, it's actually just giving a little dot here. Uh, or depending upon the style, you might see a, a star or an X or something like that. Um, it's going to give these outliers, maybe I'll add a 95, the outliers are going to be represented as dots rather than extending the whiskers really long. So this is just a nice tool to create quick box and whisker plots.